Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have an introduction for a brand new project pan that I created myself. So I'm calling this project pan All About That Indie and as the name suggests, this is a project pan solely based around indie makeup. I'm a huge indie makeup lover, I love collecting indie single shadows, and I just love supporting small independently owned makeup brands, so I really just wanted to create a project pan that celebrates that. So this project pan is comprised of two different parts. So we have the eyeshadow portion of this video, which is my personal favorite, and then we have the rolling project pan part of this video as well. So I'm going to start off by explaining the eyeshadow portion of this video. So if you guys have been in the panning community for any amount of time, I'm sure you know it's really easy to hyper focus on the things that you're panning and kind of neglect the rest of your collection. I find myself not wanting to roll my indie eyeshadows into project pans because I don't really want to hit pan on them. I just kind of have this weird attachment to them to where I don't want to hit pan on them. I'm just not quite ready to hit pan on the majority of my indie eyeshadows. So they tend to not go in projects and they do get neglected. So I created this portion of the project to kind of remedy that. That way I can get some use out of my indie eyeshadows without having to hit pan on them or set a decently high usage goal on them. So basically this is a no pan left behind of my entire indie single eyeshadow collection. So I want to try and reach for every indie single eyeshadow in my collection. I'm just going to start with indie single shadows and then once I get through all of those, I'll start moving on to palettes, but for now I'm just focusing on singles because I tend to roll palettes into projects more frequently and my single eyeshadows kind of get left behind more often so I want to bring those ones out and focus on them first. So every month I'm going to update you with the indie singles that I used that particular month. I'll show you the looks that I created with those indie singles and we'll track my usage percentage. So this is basically similar to pan percentage, however I'm going to count the percent of my indie single shadows that I've used so far, if that makes sense. So basically it's just no pan left behind, but it's with my entire indie single collection. I have yet to count how many single eyeshadows I have from indie brands in my collection, but I will do that and throw it up on the screen now so you can see how many shadows I need to use starting today. So I have already used one indie single shadow in today's look, so that's the first one I'm going to show you. Because the project is starting today, I am counting this shadow but it was rolled in from my pan those eyeshadows if you've seen that update. I'll link that in the cards if you want to check it out. But the shadow that I rolled into that project is one of my indie singles. It's the shade Fire Orchid from Glaminatrix. So that's what I have on my inner corner today. It's this gorgeous pink based eyeshadow with a strong gold and green shift. It's absolutely stunning. So this is the first indie single that I'm counting that I've used in my collection so far. Now my intention for this project pan was to start this all the way back in January. I've been sitting on this idea for quite some time, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So there were indie singles that I used in January and earlier in February. However, I'm not going to count those towards my total of what I used because I'm starting this project today. So it's just going to be too complicated if I have to go back and think about what I did use. So we're just starting fresh as of today. We've used one out of my however many singles I have. So that's the first portion of this video. So in terms of deciding which shadows I want to reach for, I have full access to my entire indie single collection. However, to make it a little bit easier for me to track, I am going to try to stick to one brand at a time. However, if there's another eyeshadow that I want to use, I have full access, I can use whatever I want. But I am going to be starting with my Cleona eyeshadows. 
I absolutely love my Cleona collection and these were pricey eyeshadows. They deserve to get lots of use. So I wanna work on them first. This smaller palette I have here has their newer shadows from their expansion. So I wanna reach for every single one of these. And then I have my bigger stained glass palette which has the rest of their shadows from the original line. So all of these square pans are obviously the Cleona shadows. These ones down here are Terra Moons and these are Davina. So I'm not really going to focus on those too much yet. I just want to try and reach for every Cleona eyeshadow I have. So that's what I'm going to be trying to tackle first is my Cleona shadows. But obviously Cleona doesn't have any mattes so I can look throughout my collection and either pair it with other mattes that I'm already panning or some of my indie matte shadows as well to get more use out of my collection. So that's kind of the first portion of this video. I hope that makes sense. It's basically no pan left behind with my entire indie single collection. After indie singles, we'll move to palettes, but like I said, we're just sticking with singles for now. So that's the first portion of this video. The second portion of this project is more of your standard rolling project pan. So if you decide to join in in this project, you're welcome to work on however many products you want at a time. However, I'm setting the guideline to be around three to six products to give you a little bit of an idea, but feel free to pan however many products you want if you decide to join in. And of course, everybody is welcome to join but I'm gonna start off with four products to work on and they all have longer term goals this portion of the video has no eyeshadows included you are welcome to put eyeshadows in this portion if you want to hit pan but this portion is intended for longer term goals so the first product I'm rolling in is from makeup geek this is their skin brilliance facial elixir I picked this up when Makeup Geek announced that they were closing and they had some really good sales going on so I decided to pick this primer up and it's not my favorite. It is nice but it's not... I thought it would be more hydrating and it's not all that glowy. It's just a extra step uh, but I am happy to use it up so that will be my goal. As you can tell I am right there and I will mark this and we will see how long it takes me to finish this. Okay, and the second product that I'm going to be bringing in is my Tower 28 Cream Blush in the shade Magic Hour. So I'm bringing this in because the packaging actually broke. As you can see, I have an elastic keeping it together so it doesn't dry out, but this product will definitely dry out faster now that the packaging is broken so I'd like to pan this my goal is going to be to hit pan for now because I have so many cream blushes that trying to finish this is gonna take forever so I just want to hit pan as you can see I have a little bit of progress in the middle there but we're still quite some ways away from hitting pan so yeah I want to hit pan on magic hour and then the last two products that I'm rolling in come from this palette right here. This is from Kaleidos. It's the Cool and Light Charisma Contour Palette. So this is a nice little contouring palette here. You have a kind of like a highlight shade, you have a contour shade, and a bronzer. So sorry about the glare, but as you can see, I have pan on this middle shade already, but I'm going to be rolling in the top two powders. So this is a, I think it's like a under eye setting powder. It's anyways, it's a highlighting powder, but it is too dark for my under eyes. So I've been using this to kind of blend out my blush and it works pretty well for that. So I want to try and hit pan on this one. And then this second shade I'm going to be rolling in to finish because I've already hit pan on it. These pans are tiny. I 
wish they were larger instead of this one here because I don't wear bronzer so I'm never going to reach for this shadow. So I want to use up these two powders so I can declutter this and give the bronzer to someone else. I did say I wanted to hit pan on this. I think I'm going to switch my goal to finish that powder because it shouldn't be that hard. So yeah, that is what I'm bringing in. These two powders both to finish. So that's everything for this project. I really hope you guys like this idea. If you are interested, you're more than welcome to join me. This is quite a low-key project pan. I want to try and update it once a month, but I'm not super stern on what day it needs to be uploaded. Um, just whenever I have time. That's pretty much everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe, but I'll talk to you next time. Bye.